Hello everyone and welcome back to another Final Fantasy video. Today we're going to talk about how you can change jobs on one character. Basically, if you are not very keen with Final Fantasy, how can you be become more classes on one character? So first of all, if we go into the character profile here, you can see that I'm level 12 Gladiator, level 51 Warrior, and 25 Conjurer. So basically, I have two tank specs, one healer specs, and no DPS specs. They're very way, very easy way to basically change, like um, you can say, from these different specs, is that each of these specs have one type of weapon. So basically, Gladiator uses one hand sword, Warrior is two hand axe, Conjurer is like a staff. And you can basically click on your weapon here and choose like, okay, I want to have my axe on. Then boom, I immediately became a level 51 uh, warrior. I can then click on recommended gear and it will put on my best gear for this, you can say, class, sorry, job. It's like, I'm, you know, I'm like a new Final Fantasy player, so I keep calling it classes, even though it's called jobs. So let's do that. So the community likes us. So basically, this video is all about how do you actually get new jobs like how if you wanted a new job like if you wanted to be for example the lancer which can be upgraded to a dragoon a basically a, a dragon fighter with a spear how can you actually become that but let me tell you when you create your first character and you know you level up to level 10 you will get a level 10 job quest when you complete that job quest you unlock different quests called so you want to be a lancer, conjurer, gladiator, you know, whichever job you want to play in the game. It's really cool. And for example, in this case here, we have a quest here called, so you want to be a lancer. And I actually want to be the lancer. So I found this place here, which is um, in this place here called Gridania. Each of the jobs are stored in like different cities. So you will also have to just you know, I mean, you cannot just get to level 10 and then get the job you want. You basically need also to do the main quest to get over there. Um, that's like the requirement, but you'll get there very quick. But in my case, I, I went over here to the Lancer starting quest. So everything you have to do is basically get in here, talk with the guild reception and say, well, hello, hello. And do you wish to join the Lancer's guild? Yes, please. And a lot of talking. And, well, okay, after she's finished talking, we have to talk with her again. And then she's like, well, have you made up your mind? Yes, I, I have, actually, I have. So you can say here, Jillian wishes you to reaffirm your desire to join the Lancer Guild. Accept. Excellent, I shall let Guildmaster Ivan know to expect you. Quest Acceptor, going inside the equipment, well, the job house, the class house, talking with the guild master. He does a very fancy ceremony, like, well, you know, talking, 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 talking. You can't even skip it. It's kind of like, mm, so you, you have to like click, 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 click. I mean, you could also read the law because this game is all about law. So if you like the law, read the law. I'm just not into law. Have you the resolve to wield the lance? Yes. Well said, Avenger. It was a pleasure. Please give me your lands now. Yes, yes, yes. Give me your lands. Good. Complete. Quest complete. There we go. Now you will be seeing that we have unlocked the Lancer. And when you go into character here, I have a level 1 Lancer now. Keep in mind that not all jobs they start at level one for example if you want to have um the dark knight it requires that you get to the heaven sword expansion and you get a level 50 character uh, and it also start from level 50 but a lot of these start from level one so that means now if we take on the lancer weapon i just got from him the spear you can see now i'm level one i can say okay put on the best gear and that's basically the best level one gear i have and here we go i am now a lancer with the true trust spell it's pretty cool i mean you, you have to admit that this is pretty cool i'm um, instead of like an other mmos where you have to like create a new character and stuff like that it's 
it, it's basically just this like you just basically go in now create like the lancer here and boom we'll complete the quest i could buy basically find the scholar quest also or you know like different quests and unlock them so now i have a level one character of course what you have to get in mind is that your main quest is still high level uh it's still still level 42 so it's it's probably not gonna al like allow you to like redeem it or progress or take on the next quest also mobs is gonna gonna like one shot you so you're not gonna be doing that but the very cool thing is you of course have your class quest so basically you can click under the main quest here your class quest and here you have now i can go in and take my quest called my first spear which is pretty cool so let's go in here talk with the guild master and get the first quest to our there we go also a very very important note when you are well basically leveling up new jobs then every time you're leveling a job that is below the maximum job you'll get 100 more experience points that means if i only play the lands now up to level 51 like my main is then i will get 100 more experience points if my main was max level level 80 then up to level 70 i would get 100 experience points but from 70 to 80 i would get 50 percent because that's the newest expansion so they don't want you to like super rush it so if you have a main character which is level 80 then all the other jobs you're leveling up to level 70 gets 100 and from level 70 to 80 is 50 percent it's a really cool thing so basically if i went i'm not even sure how like let's let's like get down here and let's get outside and kill some mobs because i'm gonna show you because we're basically gonna get 100 more experience points because i have a level 51 it's it's super cool and fantastic it's like a super cool future and i appreciate it i mean like when you play other mmos and you like create a new character it's well, it's not all the games that have support for like getting more experience points, especially not 100% like they have in Final Fantasy. But in Final Fantasy, they allow like up to 100%, which is pretty cool. Um, also, just like a quick note, if you want it, uh, you can summon mounts that you also have on your main job. So basically, I can use mount as a level one. Uh, it's it's just another one of the bonuses with this let's get all, all the way up here where we have like low level maps there we go so let's try kill them up here good as you can see i got a half level it says here i got 170 experience points bonuses i know right now i have this one here <clears throat> the heart of battle xp earned through battle is increased i'm not sure why i have this one the heart of battle it's it's another buff um but the heart that's only giving me the 70 percent but the 100 percent from these 170 that's actually the bonus buff i get for you know like having a being a low level except for my main level but if i went into my main one I would only get like 70 from the buff i have up here which is another thing but basically what i'm trying to say is every time you play like a low level um low level profession that is lower than your main sorry not profession job that is lower on your main job <clears throat> you get 100 percent more you know experience points which i think is a pretty cool thing and then of course when you get to level 30 then you'll be able to upgrade the lancer to a dragoon and stuff like that so I hope you enjoyed this video um basically this video is about to tell you how you can get a new job on the same character get to level 10 complete your class quest sorry job quest go to one of those so you want to be a whatever it is do it talk with it see the cinematic see yes i want to be that get your weapon equip it and here you go now you will answer Thanks for watching, have a nice evening everyone and see you in another video, bye.